Greetings and salutations, old chums, and welcome back to another Batman Classic TV series action figure review. This time, it's the Joker, as portrayed by Cesar Romero. Holy interplanetary yardstick! <laughs> and you see him in his package here. And it's a really good representation of Cesar Romero's Joker. Um, I'm gonna when I get him out of the package, I'll zoom in really close on his face. They actually have Cesar Romero's mustache under the white paint, which is a fantastic touch. A lot of people were worried if they were gonna do that or not. It's there. It is there. And you know, he comes with his own, you know, his his uh, little collector card, which is behind Batman and Robin here in the package, as we know. All right, and it's the same thing, you know, bam, pow, wham, embossed on the package. All right. And he's got his stand in there. Um, I think his says zap. We'll find out when we get it out of there. And then if we come up here, and we'll zoom in, and you can read the bio if you wish. That's on your time. And you come down here. And same bat time, same bat channel, featuring Batman, the Riddler, Penguin, Catwoman, and Surf's Up Batman. Who I still haven't decided whether I'm getting or not. Don't know. Anyway. I'm going to free the Joker from his plastic prison. And we'll take a better look at him. Be right back. Alright, and here's the Joker out of the package and looking really cool. And first we'll take a look at his, you know, card real quick. And it's a nice painting of the Joker from some of the Batman episodes here. And you can see good similarity between the two of them. Lens flare! Oh, yeah. And on the back, another piece of the Batcave. I don't know if I'm going to get any more of these pieces. I don't think I'm going to end up making the whole picture of the Batcave. But we'll see. If, if I do, I'll show it off. Uh, that would mean getting the regular Batman and the Surf's Up Batman, as well as Catwoman when she comes out, I think, to complete the, the whole picture. But we'll see. Anyway, get that out of here. And I was right. His stand does indeed say Zap! Zap! So, nice stand. I love how all the stands so far have had something different on them. That is fantastic. But we're not here for that. We're here for this guy. Cesar Romero's Joker from the 1960s Batman. And he is just fantastic. Now this is the Joker I grew up with. This is the one that I know and love. Now, some of his laughter, and I, I think I mentioned this in another review, some of his, his laughter and his mannerisms were copied by... Um, Jack Nicholson during uh, the 1989 Batman, the Tim Burton one. So that that's a nice little homage that he did to Cesar Romero there, and he has nice a nice suit on. It's very pink with green stripes. And there's green right around here. You know, let's zoom in a little bit for the detailing. I don't know why his hand's pointing, his one finger's pointing, but that's actually kind of cool, because instead of just having two fists, like a lot of figures have, he's got, you know, a pointing finger. And, uh, you know, it's just really cool articulation, standard for the DC Classics, you know, heads, ball jointed, and we're going to take a closer look at his head in a minute. You know, the pin and socket on the shoulders. The bicep swivel, nice 90 degree elbow, wrist swivel. His ab crunch only really works a tiny, tiny bit. It's there. Um, if you open up the coat, the waistcoat, you can see that the ab crunch is there. It just doesn't, it doesn't move very much. I think it's maybe because the coat is a slightly stiffer plastic than you would expect, even though it does move. And it lets his legs move. You know, the, the, the coattails. But, um, what can you do? You know, just like, you know, Batman, Robin, and all of them, he's got this, the, the joint that goes out, and he's got the cut there in his thigh, 90 degree knee, 
and he's got the movement in his feet. So very poseable, very poseable. Um, like I said, I'm really glad that DC decided to give us these 1960s Batman figures because these are just fantastic. They really are. They're just they're they're so cool. I mean, it's it's something, you know. I grew up with a lot of my friends grew up with. You know, we're fans of Adam West Batman. What can we say? So I'm gonna zoom in on his his face here, and you can see. He really does look like Cesar Romero, at least in my opinion he does. Um, he does have the mustache, which you can see right above his red lip. They've got like a slightly darker, I hope the lights aren't washing it out, but he does have a slightly darker, like a grayish color above his lip, and that's Cesar Romero's mustache. Because Cesar Romero wouldn't shave his mustache to play the Joker, so the makeup went right over it. And that was something that's very distinctive about his approach to the Joker. The hair is sculpted ooh, nicely as I drop him. And now it's out of focus. There we go. Sculpted nicely with that 60s styling and green for the Joker. And the eyebrows just very emotive in his face. Just really, really awesome. I love what they did with this one. This has got to be, I think, my favorite from the line so far. And how could he not be? He's the Joker. He's the definitive Joker. You know? Mr. Cesar Romero. Alrighty. Put him on the stand here. So, yeah. I, I recommend this entire line. I keep saying that. But I'm serious, guys. Go out and get this line. I mean, it's just... If you grew up in the in the 60s or 70s or even the 80s where, you know, you could see the reruns of the old Batman TV series, you need to have these in your collection. I mean, they're fantastic. They really are. Alrighty. You guys, you all be good. The Joker might send some of his henchmen after you. You don't want that. Because he's watching you. See, he's watching you specifically. You. And you. And you. He's watching all of you. Oh, yeah. Ooh!